Today on Styrene Modeler's Haven, we harness the power of weathering powders. And no, it's not makeup. It, it's not makeup, it's weathering powders. Weathering with powders can give your model a layer of realism that can't be achieved with dry brushing or paint techniques. Even something as simple as exhaust stains, like the before and after on this T34 tank I did. On this Donalus, I used weathering powders to give the exhaust stains a really chalky look on the wings. There are plenty of brand name weathering powders out there that you can use, and they all do the same thing with great effect. But since I'm kind of an old school modeler, I learned how to use weathering powders before these were available, so I had to make my own with pastel chalks. One of the benefits of using pastel chalks is your color palette is limitless as you can mix these powders to create new colors. And pastel powders are very inexpensive. You can find them at most craft stores for under $10 for a complete set. To use the pastel chalks, all you have to do is shave a little bit of the chalk into a cup using a razor blade. By scraping your blade across the stick of chalk, it will immediately turn into a powder and be caught by the cup. You can make as much or as little as you need, and again, you can mix any of the colors together to make new colors. To get the powders to stick to the parts, you need to apply a matte finish or some kind of a dull coat so that there's some type of texture on the part for the powders to grab onto. Once the matte clear is dried on the part, you can go ahead and apply the powders dry. You don't need to do anything special here. The great thing about weathering powders is that you can experiment and if you don't like the results, you can simply wash it away with a little bit of water. You can also use water to create special effects like I'm doing here on this tire by putting powder everywhere and then wiping it away on certain areas to give it that it's been down the runway look. You can also layer the powders by doing one color first and then a second color and they'll start to blend together to create new types of effects. So give this a try on your next model and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised on how easy it is to do and how dramatic the effects can be. I've put links in the description of the products mentioned in this video and if you click on those links and make a purchase, I get paid a small commission from the seller at no cost to you, so thanks for supporting my channel. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you're alerted on all my latest content. You can check out some of my other quick modeling tip videos like applying checkers using paints or drilling out your exhaust for more realism. Thanks for watching.